Hello everyone, in that video I played Dawn Star Shipwrecked Solo Edition as Wilson because all my saves disappear. Yeah, so new world, new character and let's start that world. So we spawn somewhere, somewhere in tropical place, Parrot with Pirate Head welcoming us and yeah, all my mods still have some problems. So yeah, fixing mods, fixing all settings. And let's start that walkthrough once again. So yeah, let's start with pick and tweaks, grass, flints and all other exclusive stuff to down star shipwreck as bamboo and all that I mean food and everything else. Typical down star. As you can notice, in day one I did not do anything special except fighting with snakes, somehow, in day one. Okay, so yeah, I collect all my stuff and now I built my raft and travel to next island or island, because it's land and is in land. Right, traveling to other place in the world. And I did find second island, very close to first one. So what do we have in second island? We have twigs, grass, flints, and gold and monkeys. Monkeys like a little bit extra. And of course we have bees. Bees will eliminate for blueprints if I will get lucky. But yes, gold, 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 gold. So we collect our gold and we can build our first science machine. Congratulations to us, now we will not have any problem with inventory slots. Congratulations to me, now I have science machine, now I can craft backpacks and tools, now I can travel in the world much the same speed because I didn't craft any speed boost, because I don't have any speed boost anyways. <coughs> let's, let's continue our walkthrough with collecting all different resources <laughs> and having fun, having fun, right? In, yeah, other time. So yeah, back to my raft and travel to Tort Island. Before I find Tort Island, I found coral reefs and I find brain and octopus. It's like octopus picking, I mean picking, but in the form of octopus. But it's Yarktopus that only accept fish food, fish dishes, and it will reward you with different stuff. But for specific food, he'll give you specific items. And I got lucky, I got a key, which is for one DLC character that you can unlock it by traveling to volcano and provide that character with three different keys. Then I find swordfish, I mark it on the map with trap. So if you drop if you drop a trap or backpack, it will mark in your map, so you can easily find where swordfish spawns. Later today I found rainbow jellyfish, which provide you with health, hunger, and of course lights. How provide you light? I have no idea, but if you eat them, it will make you glow. Highest level of nonsense, but I like it. Very, very useful during your first days of traveling through the seas, ocean, water, traveling through the water. Yeah, right. Next day, I tried to find a volcano. Unsuccessful. Very unsuccessful. Tort Island on Tort Day. What did I find here? Not that much. I tried to decrease my wetness. And unfortunately burn my food. My coconuts. Yay. Wow. So yeah, we have swamp here. Swamp provides us with reeds, which can be used for a lot, a lot of stuff, but mostly for beard cage. So yeah, I collect them as much as possible just for the future because finding swamps in that game, don't start shipwrecked, can be a little bit 
difficult because distance between islands can be huge and spend like 20 minutes to get to that place, collect all the stuff and get back, it can be a little bit painful. So yeah, day 3. Almost <laughs> get eaten by crocodile, crocodox. Uh, but I get lucky and I survive, get to the island, eat rainbow jellyfish and show them how to die. Right way, of course. And after that moment, my day 3 can finished. Day 4. Kinda. Day 7. My first nightmare fuel. Congratulations to me. Find a lot of islands, not that much. But yeah, we still surviving to the last day. Find Dodo on day 7, on the same island. Very, very important stuff. Important build for economy and different more stuff. But we need two Dodos. So I've built my science machine and prepare for my alchemy engine. Wish I can craft better tools and better equipment. And new ship which will provide me with better speed. Finally, after 8 days of pain in one place, I can travel through the ocean much faster. But I need sail. That wind sail which will push me to the far far away. Very very useful tool. But unfortunately I don't have any resources for it. So just for a couple of days I will just swim without any sails. Only ORS. O -R -S -E. Which is free to use for everyone who has ship. Right. My first treasure map. Nothing special here. So let's skip to day number 9. Congratulations with day number 9, which was not really something special because I just killed swordfish, which can give you the best weapon in the game. With high damage, very cheap craft and huge damage. Plus bonus damage to some bosses, some boss, but yeah, little bit later. Day 10. I try to get snake skins. Right. And it was very unsuccessful because I'm very lucky person in the game. Just the best luck ever. I spent like a lot of time cutting trees. Try to get snakes. Kill around 20 snakes and zero skins. Absolutely, I didn't get any skin, so probably I will skip that snake sail, sail, and craft just regular sail, which is a little bit cheaper and a little bit less useful and has less durability compared to snake one. But no, game says no, so craft that one. Craft just regular sail and have fun with sailing around with regular sail. Okay, 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 just day 11, so let's skip that one, let's just forget about it, just prepare a new alchemy engine and just move on to next island, to next place, to next day, and that's it, just forget about it, and yeah. Day 12, new island, second treasure chest in which I get purple gems, gold, food, Nightmare fuel and bones, not that bad, not that bad. Plus I have food. I mean, perfect, everything that I need. And of course boards. Take boards and just move on in finding no island. In which I'm supposed to get pig skins and something came in better than pig skins. So let's hope for the better. Day for day 14. Finally I get I get, I, get, I get my first pig skins, which is very useful for helmet and umbrella. Totally not normal tree. I found it. It was totally not normal, but at least I have three living clocks. Okay, six living clocks because I found another one. Even better. 
little bit have ocean wars. But it ended very well. Thanks to penguins, sea pe <laughs> sea <laughs> penguins, sea dolphins, dolphins. And I return back to the island. Why return? Because it will be place where I'll build my base in that place because people decided very very long ago, probably a year ago, just to build a base right here, right there. I didn't just vote then, they decided so. Hey! My first alchemy engine in my new base. Wish I craft a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And I'll do a little bit terraforming of the ground for protection that I'll require in two seasons. Not that bad. It will, it will be all right. All right will be everything right. So no, nothing special. Yeah. Just next season will be a little bit painful, but yeah. Yeah. Prepare wooden floor, prepare snake floor, and hope for the best. Just look at that masterpiece. It just better than Mona Lisa in every single way. Just perfect. So yeah, my bells, my bells, my base is almost finished. I just visit my dodo, take my dodo and transfer my dodo to my base. Yes, it's already my dodo. So yeah, dodo hunting, day 17. Day 17, finally I find my dodo, now I just need to wait until night, and until night I'll just collect more bamboo. Just to have more bamboo. And during night I just collect my... Oh, oh, so there's fun stuff going on in that island. There is two dodo in one island. It can be very useful, because, <laughs> because I don't need to find any other islands. So I just wait until night, they fall asleep. Just take the dodo, put it in my pocket, run to other dodo, put in my pocket. And I have two dodos. 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 Right. I take my first dodos and run to my other dodos. Dodos number two was found, take it and put it in my pocket. Now we are ready to go to my base and prepare some cage for them, some place to live. Day 18. Uh, jellyfish, some have really fun time swimming in groups. Very unusual for that season. For the first season, very, very unusual. But at least I have food. At least I hope so. Some sea cucaracha spawn it. But it was not a big problem, right? Just take my boat and fight them all. Um, yeah, right, yes. They just continue to kill that jellyfishes and just to spawn even more sea pokemons. High level tactics. Very smart. Okay, now I just need to prepare some place where my Dodos will live safely and peacefully without any democracy. Uh, right, so I just need to build them some 3x3 three three <laughs> cage where they will live. For now. Later they will have some little big place, better place, but for now just 3x3. Three three. Go luck, like, have fun. Create my bigger economy. We need to create monopoly and sell you for very good stuff. Day 19. I tried to get blueprint. It was a little bit harder than I expected. Another day 19. I tried to get as much as possible wood. 
just to build better and more floors in my base. Another day 19, prepare a little bit to next season, put lightning rod and continue to crafting that floors. Right, so we having fun, I having fun. Day 20, I get new addiction. Which is very bad. <laughs> Not the greatest. Uh, right, okay. Let's wait for the morning and start fight with boss, with octopus. Octopus boss. Uh, Kraken, in other words. And unfortunately, he did spawn, but during night, not during the day. So I need to fight with him during night, without proper lies. Yeah, it will be very, very fun. First of all, my boat is not prepared. I didn't even notice it. <laughs> and second of all, I need to move my beard far away from that place because it can really be a little bit painful if she passed or he passed away. So, right. So, good luck, have fun to me, and let's fight that Kraken and hope for Walking King. Day 21. Mission has been completed. Boss has been defeated. And our rewards is key for the DLC character. I need one more key. Now let's take our Chester, our flying Chester, and let's see what did I get. And nothing really interesting. Except the crown. Unfortunately, really, really unfortunately, as I expected walking cane, but I suppose I need to wait another 20 days or just visit Solo Don't Starve and kill that mech task to get high chance for walking cane. But okay, not really that bad, can be even worse without crown. Plus it's new season, we will have boss in end of the season, so extra armor will not be useless. Kill another swordfish, we'll have another weapon. Just mark it. And let's have fun finding other island. Uh, so there is fun stuff going on. Uh, I went to my base. Just to get some food, repair a boat and guess what happened? I found volcano in my base, next to my base. Day 22nd, I find gears, finally, at day 22nd, I finally can have fridge. Finally, 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 now I have proper kitchen, now, I mean, don't even have kitchen, I can build proper kitchen. Craft some tent, I mean, water protection, rain protection, and built my first kitchen at day 23. Very progressive year, very progressive first season. And I have 8 health. Very progressive. Kill my first Dodos. My first Dodos pasta away. Uh, just to have some meat and feathers. 
business, business going on. So I crafted double doors just to have better entrance to my dodos and picking up stuffs and killing beards for economy, of course. Democracy, first place. As, as always, right? Right. So yeah, better entrance to my beards. Safer. Uh, yeah, no, nothing else that bad. So what I'm supposed to do next day? Next day I'm supposed to do have some food and healing stuff. Day 24. Mining for corals. In coral reefs. Why do I need them? Just for decoration until one important day. Days. Mining some gold. Collecting some gold. Shoveling, shoveling out. Shoveling in, shovel... Right. Killing Tollbeard just to get meat. And having great life. Try to get some silk from spiders, but spiders try to kill me so I don't really get much silk. Prepare some food, have some fun, enjoying my base, decorating, building, crafting, fighting and all other fun and not really fun to do. So I just think about transferring tweaks into my base because I don't really have any tweaks, any tweaks, tweaks, any... I don't have anything except grass and beards and all useless, useless stuff. So I just plant trees, get saplings and just building, expanding my base for better looks and better uses and not really pain for traveling, decoration and mining, crafting, building, fighting. As always, just on improving my base for the better future. Day 35. My addiction got a little bit worse. Still no walking cane. But it is jellyfishes, but no walking cane. Last one. Last one. Uh, at least ropes. Ropes is very very useful tool for the surviving. As you can survive and transfer yourself to other side. Yeah, very 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 useful. Day 36. Finally can repair my boat in my base. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. And this last update to Dawn Star of Solo. You can repair your boat not even being in your boat. I guess I hope it does make any sense, but it's work like that. Day 37, I tried to find another key to the DLC character. Was not really successful. I supposed to get all the boxes, all the boxes in the ocean. Just to get one key. Yeah, it was really really painful, not fun, but I did it, I get it. At least something I get like it. Day 37, part 2. I find tiger shark. Tiger shark, that shark, that tiger that you can kill like at spy eye classes that you can see everything for far far away and you can get tiger shark umbrella. Or it just skin brella. It's just like eye brella from Deer Clubs, but everything that I'm supposed to do is just to kill the tiger shark. The best way is just to kill it in some island. Because in the boss is a little bit more dangerous and the shark that boss a little bit more harder to kill it. So yeah, we just need to move it to the island and show them how to proper die.
But thanks to my luck, because I'm the luckiest person ever alive, that tiger shark escaped. Escaped from fighting. So we just we just fight, 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 and she bam and done. She no, I'm supposed to go home. I get call, I'm supposed to go home, goodbye. That's it. I discovered most of the islands in the game, most of the islands, most, and still didn't find the den where the tiger shark hides. Alright, so just go to the base and expand my base, as always, now I have a chest. Congratulations to me, day 41, 41, and I have two chests. Huge progress. And during the traveling to base I found some bee nest and I killed the bees and I get blueprint. So now I have bundling wrap just to wrap my food so it's never spoiled again. Day 44. Trading for some good stuff with hope for walking in. Um, but before I was supposed to kill that guardian, guardian of the octopus. Wilson, come, come on Wilson, <laughs> come on, <laughs> something, Wilson. Wilson. Finally, 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 finally. So, what I get from it? I get from it... Very, very good stuff. Day 45. We have some rain problem. Huge rain problem. But don't worry, we prepare our base two seasons ago. It doesn't have some problems like that. Doesn't supposed to have problems like that. Doesn't supposed to have it. Day 45. Hope for collecting some useful stuff like pen flute and Poseidon weapon. Uh, ju just for some fun. Just sailing around, trying to get some fun stuff, some rare stuff. Extremely rare stuff, rare stuff, rare stuff. With hope for better and better loot. If I get some trash, then... I mean... My luck is very lucky. So let's try to get at least something useful. At least something useful. Finally. And I get from it... And I get... Boot, old boot, very very useful. Why do you need jellyfish? I need jellyfish to craft one hat for better stuff, which can open me knowledge to everything. At least I expected like that. What does the hat give us? It provides us with every single craft that don't starve have if you have all DLC. So what I try to do, I try to craft that Hamlet village building just to have rare stuff. But unfortunately it requires money. Uh, and my democracy does not produce a lot of money, it produces a lot of mm, oil. And um, yeah, so we need to make money. To make money I'm supposed to go to Hamlet or just to build some regular house and just to trade once a day for couple coins stuff. Very long process but at least it will work. But for now I just leave it as it is and we'll visit Volcano. Just to explore and probably just to explore, nothing special, just to exploration. Day 46, first time at Volcano. Nothing really special, expect to get some coffee beans but all coffee dried during rain, it's dried. So I guess I just wait until the volcano season and collect some during volcano season. Not now, not, it just requires too much, too much care. Too much attention, too much problem it provide to me and now I need to expand my base, expand my country 
grow democracy, build some society and all the different stuff. Day 46. Hello Tiger Shark, we meet again. For the time I have better sales and I will find it. I will catch it, kill it. Or do I mean uh, oh okay. <coughs> Expect a little bit different, but it's still alright. Yeah. Welcome to Don't Star Ship Right. Day 47! Nothing really special except Crocodox visit my base. My masterpiece. As always. Yeah, that's it. Nothing special. I'll just prepare for summer season and will prepare for Don't Starve Solo Regular Rock Edition. Why? Because I want to visit Record Don't Starve. And from the regular stuff I will travel to Hamlet, and from Hamlet I will travel back to Shipwrecked. So I just need to collect some Hamlet stuff, prepare for the Hamlet, prepare food, prepare items. So I will craft that Hamlet teleportation. In regular don't starve, I will teleport to Hamlet in that during the teleportation. When I get to Hamlet, I will craft regular Shipwrecked transportation and I will get to the shipwreck. So I need to prepare two items two crafts in my inventory to the hamlet and from hamlet back to the shipwreck so I can right away tra tra I mean, transport myself back to the shipwreck. Very complicated but you get it I hope. Day 49. My last day in Don Starve Shipwreck. And last day of that walkthrough, finally, we go to Ton Star of Rock, and I can say finally to you, goodbye, thank you for watching, see you next time, adios amigos, see you next time.